Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow siblings in Christ. Hope all is well with each and every single one of you guys. There's a thought that come across my head, and I want to share it, and I pray that the Lord blesses this video as, it, as it's being spoken. Many people are preparing for the brand new year. They're getting all excited. They're getting their outfits together. They're planning what clubs or bars or house parties or whatever they're going to go to how much liquor they may consume, what kind of drugs they're going to do. And even if they don't do these two things, they're planning on other things, saying, yes, 2019 is going to be my year. But you know what, y'all? Let's put this in perspective. 2018 was a year that a lot of things went down where the lukewarm and the worldly didn't expect. But those who are walking in Christ were just, we were still stunned. The Lord said it was going to happen. It's written in the word, but we're just like, whoa. 2019 is going to be a year where there's going to be a more of a clear difference between the godly and the ungodly, the holy and the unholy, the on fire from the lukewarm, the wheat from the tares. And it's also going to be a year where that decision is going to have to be made hardcore set in stone. Are you truly walking in Jesus Christ or are you not? Do you want the Lord Jesus Christ or you don't? How serious are you about walking in God? How serious are you about coming to the Lord? Because in this next year, it's going to get worse and worse. I mean, it's written in the word. It's going to get worse and worse. Sin is going to become even more rampant. You thought 2018 was something. 2019 is going to get very much more clear how close we are to the return of the Lord. And how close we are to the Antichrist finally taking his mask off and then revealing himself to the entire world. It's also going to be a time where many lukewarm will become reprobate. They'll be given over to their sin and many of them will die in their sin. Those who said that they are of the Lord and yet are not, and God knows that they aren't, he's going to take his hands off of these people. Mainly because warning after warning after warning, and these people are thumbing their nose and closing their ears saying it doesn't take all that, we don't need to do all that. Y'all, this ain't a game. This ain't a game. This is time to repent and come to Jesus. This is time for us to seek the Lord and actually walk in holiness and righteousness. This is a time where we need to come away from sin. This is a time that we obey that gospel that says, come out of her. Come out of the unclean thing. Come out of the world. Come out of lukewarmness. Come out of darkness. Come out of Pergamos. Compromise. Come out of Laodicea. Lukewarmness. Come out of Thyatria. The unorganized, ungodly, unled church. Come out of it. Come out of what's going to destroy you. Come out of those bad relationships that's leading you away from the Lord. Come out of that bad doctrine that's making you think that Jesus ain't Jesus. Come out of the things that's going to make you die in sin. Turn away from ungodly music. Turn away from ungodly entertainment. Turn away from the false shepherds. Walk away, run away from the false prophets. Stay away from the poison and get towards the cure named Jesus. You want a 2019 word because many folks are going to be saying that they're going to go for a, a, a service that's going to have a 2019 word. Here's the 2019 word. And it's the same word that was preached before then. And it was preached by John the Baptist. It was preached by Jesus Christ. And it's being preached by everyone who follows Jesus Christ. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. That's the word. Repent and turn towards God and believe in the Lord, you and your household. This is no longer a game, you guys. Jesus is going to come at a time that everybody ain't going to expect. You better be busy for God because when that time comes and the Lord returns, there's going to be some that's going to be ready. They're going to be able to receive the Lord and they shall live in eternity. And then there are those who are not ready and they will be burning for all eternity. Think of the story of the ten virgins. Five were ready and received the wedding. Five weren't ready and were locked out. Please don't be like that. 2019 
is a time when we really need to dig into God. But while it's still 2018, we need to repent and repent and repent. And when you're done repenting, repent some more. Don't wait for 2019 for a new day. Don't wait for the new year, no matter what year it may be, if the Lord allows us to see 2020, 2021 or whatever. Don't wait until December 31st, 12 midnight to renew your vows in the Lord. Start now. This message is for anyone who listens right now. This is meant for your ears. This is meant for your ears. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and seek the Lord Jesus Christ. And for anybody that's listening that's getting up in arms, is not skin, is not tribe, is not anything that's going to involve pride. The blood of Jesus was shed so that our sins can be forgiven and we're saved from the wrath of God. Jesus is coming. He's coming for a spotless bride. And no matter what shade of melanin or lack of melanin you have, if your soul is filled with darkness, you will never be able to em envelop yourself in the light. God bless you all. Peace. <laughs>